What is going on everyone, Tim's here and welcome to another Pokemon Unite video. It has been a while since we have shot a Unite video, life has been crazy busy, but we are here to talk about the new patch, or the so-called patch that is coming in September. Now this looks really, really good. Personally, a lot of my friends, a lot of my circle in Unite have left the game by now. I've obviously been around the scene quite some time for the last three years. So in the producer letter this year for the third anniversary and Ho-Oh release, it seems that maybe finally they're going to address these issues. This would be absolutely awesome to see because if it could bring some of my friends back to the game that have uh, left because it's just uh, not been very well looked after or the patches that they bring to the game are just not being brought in enough. So some of the stuff in the producer letter is really, really positive. It's like we're going to be doing more patches every month, some patches in between that, some smaller ones. So this is what the player base has been crying out for for so long, you know, just a bit more care when things are like broken. We're not waiting one season to fix them, to patch that out of the game, ruin it for certain players, people abuse it. It's going to happen, you know, if someone's overpowered and uh, people are going to abuse that and play that, which makes it extremely frustrating, especially for competitive players like myself. I've been on teams since the start of when it came out, Pokemon Unite. It's really difficult because when in tournament mode, you don't have the option for EX mods. So competitive players and to for tournaments are not going to be practicing EX mods or broken things that have got bugs and things like that. So if they're going to be updating these much more Frequently, that is what we want to see because then all the competitive players, players that play in tournaments that just want to be practicing the mons that are going to be available to them, if they're bringing this all in line, which we are hopefully going to see here, that is just going to be so much better for the community. And I'm hoping that this will bring some players back. So let's jump over and take a look at this letter. All right. are responsible for over 150 million downloads of Pokemon Unite Worldwide will be celebrating the game's third anniversary. For this year's celebration, we're bringing back various events and introducing a new defender, ho -Oh. We also have a few upcoming changes to share with you all. So out of the 150 million downloads by now, how many people have actually left the game? That is what we are worried about and hopefully these changes will bring some of that player base back that we would just love to see. So ho -Oh is coming to Aos Island. The legendary Pokemon has feathers that glow and is said to bring eternal happiness to those who see it. Let's hope it brings eternal happiness, but if it, if it comes out broken like so many other things do, it's not going to bring too much happiness. As a defender, Ho is good at withstanding attacks from opponents. Unite move revives allies that have been knocked out. I mean, that in itself sounds insane. Like, if you can just revive a whole team at the ready fight, like, how's that going to work? Like, is that going to be completely broken to one, make one team completely broken and then the other team can't? Because EX Mons now, as we go on in this, I think they're going to be allowed in every game. So we just going to have to see how it goes. If Ho-Oh uses Rekindling Flame near it, it can revive that ally Pokemon on the spot. Even if all allies are knocked out in the battle over the Rayquaza fight during the final stretch of the match, Ho-Oh's Unite move can turn the tide by bringing them all back. Now that seems pretty broken if you ask me. I don't know how that's going to work. Like I was just saying there, if one team has this and the other team don't, like it's going to be interesting to see what counters there's going to be to that. But yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. So when Hello arrives, you'll have the chance to earn its Unite license through an event. Be sure to participate and experience rainbow colored power. <laughs> Hopefully this is not another defender that plays like an all-rounder. I think that's another problem in the game. Like the, the tanks have too much damage sometimes. Like we remember that time when Blastoise was just completely OP. It just gave a hefty buff to Slowbro to sell the skins, I believe. So that's another thing. Like these defenders are playing like all rounders sometimes, just putting out a little bit too much damage. I feel like if they turn that down by ten percent, and maybe up the HP or something, that would be, in my opinion, better. Maybe if you don't agree with me, let's uh, see it down in the comment section and uh, let's get a discussion going. But that's my personal opinion. I think the defenders play like all rounders. We saw it with Trevor, and we're seeing it with Slowbro now. Blast always back in the day. Just having to bring all this back into line, and it's just a case of it doing a bit too much damage. I feel like. All right, EX license changes then. So when EX licenses were introduced in December of 2023, the intention was to express the strength of legendary Pokémon in a way that is easy for anyone to experience. So that's saying that new players can pick them up, easy to play. Um, but when they release them overpowered, like it's just not fun for anybody. 
So this categorization was introduced to not only help balance battles, but to add dimensionality to them by introducing weaknesses in exchange for strength. I mean, some of them, I don't know what they mean by that, but most of the time the x mons are just too much, when they first release anyway. So after carefully reviewing the feedback we received from players via surveys, so these surveys, they are reading them, it's very important to fill those out, whatever you feel like needs to be changed in the game, get that in that survey, because it seems like we are making changes like this patch that's coming in September looks really really positive for the game and I'm just hoping that this will bring some players back that have left. So we found the system was well received by players, all those unfamiliar with Pokemon however we also found that players wanted a more balanced experience and for the power level of EX to be on par with Unite license. What's more some ranked seasons have restricted the use of EX licenses reducing the number of Pokemon that could be selected. We felt this took away from the fun of the battle. See I've always thought that like You've got these EX licenses, they're not allowing them to be played in the higher ranks there once you hit Master or things like that. But what is the point of releasing all these mods if you cannot play them? <laughs> I mean, if you bring them back into line with the rest of the roster, this is just great because then they can be used in tournaments. Like the pro players and the players on competitive teams can pick these up and be practicing them because they're going to be available in tournaments if they're all brought into line with the rest of the roster. So. I think this is really positive so let's just see what happens but let's move on then so together with this change the following pokemon will receive balance adjustments to bring them more in line with the rest of the unite roster zashian mega mewtwo x mega mewtwo y and maridon we hope that you're excited to bring even more of your favorite pokemon into battle and experience the more balanced competition hallelujah thank god bring that bring them all into line let's get it balanced okay so adjustments we want to ensure that a diverse range of Pokemon are represented in a well-balanced environment. With a roster of over 60 to choose from, some have unfortunately not received many adjustments, while others are seen as a staple in battles. Yeah, it's always the same mons, isn't it? Like, they'll get a buff for the season when the season ends, and then that just stagnates through the season. It's always the same mons being picked in competitive, being picked in ranked, and you're just like seeing the same mon over and over again. You're like, oh, oh look, a Slowbro again, or something like this. Like, it is just... It gets a bit tedious after a while. If everything was sort of brought into line, it'd be so much better for the whole of Pokemon Unite in general. And the player base wouldn't be so angry. So it's a win-win. All right, new Pokemon then. We believe that the best way to drive change in Unite battles is by adding a new playable Pokemon to Pokemon Unite. While we introduced fewer Pokemon in 2024 than in previous years, we plan to pick up the piece. So please look forward to having even more Pokemon join the Unite roster later this year. Let's go. So that's going to mean we're going to get more Pokemon. I did hear it's going to be every two months instead of three months or something like this. So we can expect instead of four, we're going to have like six or something. So that's much better. Like just freshening it up. And if everything is being brought into line, like they're going to say, let's hope that this happens because sometimes the patches are just not there. They're still going to want to sell these skins, right? So are we going to be having these... The same patches that are bringing this sort of one, like way above. Um, like they've done with Blaze again recently, like that didn't really need the buff, Slowbro didn't really need the buff, but we're getting these buffs because they're selling the skin. So, you know, is that ever going to change? We will have to wait and see. But moving on to our final word then, as we celebrate our third anniversary, we want to thank all of you for the valuable feedback you've provided us so far. Your passion and continued support is important and our team will continue to take the challenge in order to meet your expectation. Thank you everyone for your passion, enthusiasm and continued support of Unite. Here's to another year of battles on AOS Island. Sincerely, Unite team. Right, back over to the Just Chatting. This looks great guys, honestly. Finally, all the feedback that everyone's been putting through is being listened to it seems. Let's get these changes in, let's see what the future for Unite is hopefully looking bright. I really am excited to see what these changes will bring and hopefully let's see some players coming back to Unite. That would be the best thing because so many people in my circle that I know have already left the game because of these changes that always something is broken. EX Mons released, totally overpowered, ruining ranked matches. If you don't have one, the other team is almost guaranteed a victory. Let's get some fairness back into this game because like I was saying, if competitive teams want to practice they won't be practicing EX Mons, but now this could change. So the future is bright. I'm so excited to see where it goes. Let's get some players back into Unite that have left. And uh, yeah, please let me know down in the comment section, guys, what you think of the video today, what you think of the balance changes in Unite. 
how you think this is going to change the future of the game for the better and if you think it'll actually bring some players back to this game. If you've enjoyed the video today, please do consider smashing that like button and hitting the subscribe button. I am planning to get more content out. We do stream as well over on Twitch, running community games, Tuesdays and Sundays on Unite. So if you do want to pick up the game or you're an experienced player, you want to just play some fun games, head on over to uh, Twitch at TinsTTV and uh, yeah, give me a follow and we'll see when I go live and you're welcome to jump in for some fun matches. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.